Kent Beer Reviews. And that this is the this is the weekend of the Nottingham Craft Beer Festival 2021. And so we're doing a few collab beer reviews. Storming the Emperor's Castle, a collaboration between Emperor's Brewery and Castle Rock. This is the one of three. The first one I never reviewed, to be fair. This is the second version. It's a rum barrel aged over Tahitian vanilla pods, a 12 month edition. The new one, I'm sure, I think, is an 18th month edition. And it's over, it's, it's cognac and cherry or something. So I will read what's on the back if I can. My eyes are cracked. The alcohol content is 13.5% double mashed imperial stout, brewed in collaboration with Darth Damien of Emperors. Aged in Antillian rum barrels for 12 months over a bed of fragrance and sweet organic Tahitian vanilla pods. Obviously, it's from Castle Rock. So, I'll give it a pour and we'll see what we both think of it. This is going to be interesting. Mm. You know, because no beer review is the same. We all get what we get, you know. Some be some people has got better, you know, better at getting it than others. And uh, I may be the crappiest. But uh, there you go. Dark. Engine oil. There you go. Cheers. And cheers. And uh, yes, Greg and Adam. Yeah, you're next. 12.5%. And Adam. And Ari as well. Yeah. So. Little tan head, not much of a head. You've got a bit more of a head than yeah, me. Yeah, I've just given it a swirl. Right, yeah. Like you do. So. All the alcohol legs, as you'd expect. Oh, big, big old lump of a beer. Big and twelve point five. Thirteen point five. Thirteen point five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it says. One touch wrong, but okay, good. Mmm. So second time I've reviewed this to do a live beer review with, with Greg, Mr. Bullman Beer Reviews, and uh, blimey, that's booze there. <laughs> it is. It's a booze fest of a beer, isn't it? Oh, I should be able to walk home, all right? Shouldn't I? Yeah, let's get a taxi. Out. It's a long way. <laughs> it's not, if, it, if, it's, if it's ten o'clock, especially and, that bloody case, and the wife just come back, I, I'll get our yeah. we'll, we'll pop up and. No, say, no, I, I don't mind walking. Yeah, he's sat there. Fuck that. Take you home in a BM. I don't know when I'm getting there yet. Probably be asleep by then. Well, it's boozy. Yeah, you can get there's boozy, a hint. Of, there's, a, there's a hint of vanilla, but it's just boozy, isn't it? It really is. I'm getting lots of uh, burnt uh, mascarado sugar. I don't get that, but then again, there's obviously some smells that you're not used to. And this is yeah. the thing with beer reviews that you, don't, you don't always get everything. I mean, Palettes, noses, we're all different, and the, yeah, it's what just, you like and what you don't like. Honestly. See, I don't know what them barrels are, not being uh, into my uh, spirits and the mm. like. Rum, barrel aged edition. Def yeah, I mean, it's, it's you, you get that Christmas cake kind of aroma, you're, I mean, you're on the taste already, but I'm still trying to work out the aroma. Apart from my eyes, kind of getting the fumes it is it's it's really fumey isn't it we'll go into it well i will oh. you've nearly really necked it so. that is nice absolute booze fest of a beer so it's about probably 10 degrees because it was in the fridge yeah so it's always nice to know it's not quite room like outside room temperature. Not yet, no. Or, or Raggy's beer room temperature, whatever that is. No, I mean, God, it can be up to yeah. 35 degrees in there. This is why I've been putting stuff in the fridge. Yeah. Now you got to. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put stamps in there, though. No, no. But the cavern one, when I went to Black Iris, that was in the fridge. Yeah, I mean, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's just preference, isn't it? Mm. I, I do like them out in the fridge, personally. Person, yeah, me personally, I don't like to see any stouts in the fridge. But it's interesting because when I reviewed this last time, this was a room temperature beer. Mm. Now, this is a fridge temperature beer, well, just out of a fridge. So there's an interesting uh, difference. And obviously, temperatures do mean, do mean a lot. It's, it's a boozy monster. Come to the room. Not surprised. Or oh, squirrel. A bit more rain than squirrel. Or off the oak tree. Wow, that is hitting home very, very quickly. Yeah, it's a big lump. Oh. 
There's a slight kind of cream brulee burnt sugar on top of the, you know, that hard casing sugar, a little bit. I do get that muscovado effect now, and now you come yeah. to mention it, I do get that now. But then you're getting that kind of, I say syrupy, but it's very, uh, the body is the upper end of a medium, lower end of a full one, so it's around about that ballpark. Right it's straight to the head. My God, I mean, we have 14 and a half percent. You are necking it. I'm just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the right way. Um, Longer review, so, than you're used to. So, <laughs> I, I just waffle along and kill time. So. This is nice, though. I'm looking forward it, to it. It's definitely not a, it's definitely a sipper, not a chugger. No, no, don't be chugging these beers. And anybody watching, you know, Imperials, there we go. We'll put the, put it, we'll put the thing. Imperials, big beers are not meant to be chugged. You need to, like yesterday, I was with the Jedi Master of beer festivals, and uh, Craig learnt me a lot, of, of, especially yesterday, with drinking water, rehydration, and I, I got through. What was it? Ten and a half hours shift. But well, you got through more beers than you would have done without it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have been steaming. Yeah. And no yeah, doubt. you don't want to fall over or nothing, do you? And there were, I had that cider from Mag, but yeah, fucking hell, on the way home. <laughs> hey, I didn't see that, but yeah, uh, yeah, just check out the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a live stream of me walking in from the beer festival. There's about no, it's from, from was it from the fest? No, it was from yeah. the from the pub, wasn't it? No, from the beer festival yesterday. Yeah, because you left night. me in the pub, and yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, about twenty minutes in, and I fell over, and oh my god, it it was painful. I've got the I've got the elbow hurting me. My knees are on the right, on the right knee. Oh my god, thank god. I didn't smash the glass. That's the main thing. Yeah. I, I managed to acquire a few more, but people were chucking them down. You know, if, if, if it's their glass they paid for and they chucked it down, it's fair play. And so I didn't manage to smash any glasses or my two cans. Oof. Damn. I can't chug that. Yeah. I mean, you, you, you're definitely getting the, I'd say, the vanilla. It's coming through quite nice. There's a, there's a, it's not crazy sweet, which is always nice. I don't like things too over the top with uh, sweetness, but you are getting that vanilla pod. Kind of, it's very, it's almost like liqueur like creaminess. Boozy though, as well. It is boozy. You, you, you're breathing out alcohol fumes, I can yeah. tell. Yeah. Um, I can feel it on my, on my breath. It's like, walk. And the thing is, we've got three more to go. <laughs> I've got one Craig's yeah. bought, and uh, we well, don't have to. We've, you know, <laughs> that's fourteen point something. I know. <laughs> Here, oh dear. But and uh, yeah, I got these to do live dual reviews, and I thought, wow, we'll do it. Been a cracking weekend, you know. Friday, Friday evenings, all day Saturday, and today also Uncle Drink and Food Festival, and. Uh, pub tonight with Irish music brilliant and you know I've sp I've spoke with most of the breweries in Nottingham been a brilliant weekend Nottingham we should be proud of our, our craft beer festival and our breweries it's good it's good and it's great for the good man here to experience it because you know you go to different cities and they, yeah. if you're new to the city you don't know what to expect and uh, Nottingham born Nottingham bred proud of where we come from you know, hoping to discover more, but obviously, you know, it's down to time, money, and obviously having family and that. It's not easy. Life's not easy. And, uh, no. Yeah. So, for me, would I drink this again? Well, second time drinking it, and it's absolutely amazing. I, I spoke to Castle Rock's head brewer yesterday, and uh, the information off him and his passion. In, in any job, it's about passion admiration for the job wanting to push boundaries you've got to stay relevant these guys emperor's brewery we know about emperor's brewery if you don't know about emperor's brewery you're sadly lacking emperor's brewery for me one of the yeah i mean it's actually got his own proper brewery in some ways it's um it's the top rated uh brewery in the uk yes. according to untapped i yeah. believe that's someone told me that yes i didn't know and uh, he's doing collabs all over the place and mm. uh Hopefully, I'm going to meet him a week on Saturday um, for the what a collab for the yeah for the 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 nano breweries of Nottingham and 
surrounding are doing a mass brew for a Robin Hood Craft Beer Festival. So it's fantastic. All the nano breweries together, all together doing a brew. Uh, we've actually been asked to, um, my wife, that's not me, uh, to make a cake for it. So there's going to be one amazing cake. And it'd be great to meet all the brewer brewers and have a drink and not get too drunk. And hopefully do some good live streams. You know, I'm looking forward to it. Really pushing, pushing to the hills. These good people. Because they met some great beer. It's what it's all about. Meeting new people, making contact, making friends. This weekend's been amazing. I, I just this is just this is just like secondary this yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah, this the is people, doing the reviews, but the people and stuff. That's the right. weekend, yeah. you know, meeting people at the beer festival. We've had such a laugh, such it's interaction. Great. It's been lovely. We'll discuss it more on the live review. But um, wow, what a weekend! Very nice indeed. So would I drink this again? My part of the review. I'll let Craig do his own. Uh, would I drink this again? Yes, hell yeah. Yes, it's an amazing bit. Will I see it again? Probably not. There are only limited amount of bottles. If you get one of these, store it. Anything over 8.5, so I've been informed, anything over 8.5% can be cellar aged. Below that, you're taking a very big risk. This could be cellar aged for years and be worth a lot of money in years to come. Um, but for me, a great beer from Castle Rock. I love the Castle Rock and Empress Brewery collection. You know, both local breweries to me, Leicester, Nottingham, East Midlands, um, out of five for me. If I'm gonna give it a score, you know, I'm not bothered about the scores as much these days, but for purity sakes, I'll give it a score. For me, a good 4.61 for me, a stunning beer. Wow, wow it's wall at me as well. Right. Yeah, I mean, I don't score beers anymore. No, I know you don't. No, so, no. No. But I'd, you know, give it an untapped score then, if you like. Um, put it around about a 4.3. Right, that's a big score the, from On the untapped tap scale. Yeah. So I think, I don't know. What, this beer's coming in at 4.08, and that's like um, 586, is that? I can't fucking see. Yeah. <laughs> People that have checked in and give it a score. Um, but yeah, it's, um, it's a nice, nice beer. It's very boozy, though. Oh, it is. Um, Very rich. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, I mean, I know it's in a big ABV beer, of course. So 13.5, but it's, you, you're getting that. Mm. I have had, like, in the recent days, we had a 14.5. Yeah, it didn't taste as boozy as this. <laughs> and that, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, so, th yeah, that, that's what puts that, for me, that score there. Yeah. If that makes sense, yeah, um, but but lovely to try. It's some beer, and um, this is what it's like. This is what beer review is about. This is what following beer reviewing the beer review community is about. It's about watching beer reviews and listening and thinking to yourself, "Oh, I actually, I actually like the sound of that." You're not somebody who's trying to dramatize. I don't like dramatization. There's no, no need for it. No. Say what you think. Is I'd it good? Not, I'd rather not do bad? it. I'd rather not do it. No, no. but we leave that to, for others to. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's not for us. I'm not in for that. <laughs> yeah. I've only, there's only been three beers that have been awfully woeful, but we won't, this isn't the review for that, no. Yeah, um, yeah that's pretty wild, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bit of farmhouse. Yeah, oh, shit out. But yeah, um, but we won't go there. Bit but anyway. A, bit of an Incarzi, in, in the Carsey beer. Yeah, yeah, that sort of beer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Job's a good one. Um, but that's it for this beer review. You've heard our thoughts, and please comment and... Uh, did you like the job with you? You know, I, I loved it. This is great. Just that interaction. I'm, I'm open again in October for when Adam, Ari, and maybe Greg and the community, when the Burberry commu community are down, the wife knows they're coming down. She's good with it. And as many beer reviews with, with the friends of the community, I hate the word subscribers. I absolutely hate it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I hate that word. It's friends. We're all friends of the community. That's why I created the beer review community group. Not, not oh, raggies or anything. It's about all the communities. It's everyone. Not just me. Yeah. I don't care. You know. It's yours. Yeah. yeah. Everyone. We're all, group. We're all fans of beer. That's why it should be. Anyway, job's good. See you soon. Cheers, everyone. Take Next care. one.